Yes. Berti from Finland uh, wants to know what exceptional achievements that makes you famous. Well, fame is not an end in and of itself. And to be honest, after you leave politics, the thing you want to do is basically, you know, go under the covers and and uh, and and you want to be a private person. I must admit that I, I will. It will be very difficult for me ever to work in Finland because of the fame issue. So I, I quite enjoyed moving to Luxembourg, where I was almost incognito. I quite like to hang out here in Oltrarno, you know, Piazza Tasso and other places, San Frediano, because no one really, you know, knows me, which is, it's lovely. It, it gives a certain freedom. I don't, you know, have to be something all the time. Um, what are the biggest achievements? I would say there, there are two that I, I, you know, apart from the fact that a lot of people come up to me and, you know, say, okay, you know, I saw that, for instance, you know, you were doing sports and and therefore I started and you changed my life and or, you know, whatever. That, that's, that's, that's really nice feedback. Uh, but, but two things from my political life. One is when I was prime minister, we pushed through a bill which allowed for gay marriage. Uh, and it was something that I initiated also uh, as a minister, which is quite unusual because when you're an executive role in government, uh, you know, you don't go and sign a, a petition first. But I, I did that because I always felt very strongly about, among other things, gay, gay rights um, and the GLBT community. So I was very happy that that happened, uh, you know, basically during my watch. And, you know, some would argue that I... <laughs> Part of the reason that I then got, you know, ousted from politics is 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 that you know I was too outspoken on on these issues, these liberal issues. Uh, the second thing I'm quite proud of is 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 um, negotiating peace in the war in Georgia. Uh, I was chairman of the OSCE at the time in 2008, and I know that Sarkozy took all the credit, but you know, with all due respect, uh, the peace agreement was written on on the laptop of my advisor. Uh, Jan Netalas, who is now actually the managing director of the Marti Ahtisari Peace Foundation, CMI. But in any case, so those two things, uh, you know, gay marriage and, and peace in Georgia were two things that I'm particularly fond of and happy. Of course, there are many other things that happened during the, day, during the years, but, but uh, those, would, those I would sort of raise as one notch above the 